Hello everyone and happy December. We're quickly approaching the end of the year, which is hard to believe. But before we wrap up 2017 and welcome in 2018, there's some updates I wanted to share with you from December. The first thing I wanted to let you all know about is that I've been meeting with heads of school from schools in the area. I met with the head of GFS, the Germantown Friends School, the head of GSFS across the street, that's the Green Street Friends School, and also the head of Germantown Academy. Germantown Academy actually had the property that's currently PSD before they left and we moved in. Our conversation was very interesting because their alumni and our alumni have a lot of similarities. I know there are alumni from PSD that are disappointed about the move from the PSD campus to Germantown, and similarly, Germantown Academy have alumni that are disappointed about the move from Germantown out to their current campus outside the city. We talked about what kind of relationship we could have going forward that could include a tour or a visit of our respective campuses, some sort of partnership in terms of sharing information, in particular because we're curious about the information they have relative to our property that existed before we took over the campus in the 1980s. There are some other schools located on the same street, so I wanted to talk about those schools. They include GFS, GSFS, and also Penn Charter. The four of us are all on the same street, but PSD is in a unique situation in relation to the other three. PSD is a chartered school, so we receive funding from the state. The other three are charter schools, and their funding comes from tuition paid by parents. There are a lot of ways that the four of us plan to work together, but in particular, we want to make sure that we have a relationship that allows sharing of resources and information. A really clear example of this is that GFS allows us to use their auditorium for our PSD graduation. The next update I have for you is related to our parents. We have the Family Education Series, which covers different topics each time, and this month we were able to have Melissa Dragonek hawk from NAD and Liz Hill from PSAD. They came and talked to parents about the work they're doing in their respective organizations. Even though they work here, they were representing these other entities and talked about what's happening at the national and state level. I also wanted to share with you an update on our transitions program. That program has already been in existence, but this year we're seeing a lot of growth in attention and size. Our students, it's important for them to be prepared for the real world when they leave, and that's the focus of the transitions program. In particular, for our students that are 14 years old and above, we want to make sure that they are getting signed up with OVR, the Office of Vocational Rehabilitation, so they can be receiving services once they're eligible at age 14. I also wanted to talk about the PSDAA. They have several events throughout the year, the most recent of which was the Holiday Bazaar. It was great to see the turnout, to see the people and the vendors, the various booths. That same evening, there was a second event, the Sports Hall of Fame. It's a nice opportunity for us to recognize people, some of whom have not been back on campus for many years. We had people come in from all over and share in this great event. It's an opportunity for us to continue to advertise what's happening, and we'll continue to let you know as these events are happening. Congratulations to this year's winners. I also wanted to in particular recognize our elementary and middle school students. This year, for the first time, we had a robotics program, and we had 12 students participate. The program included working in teams of three, and one team of three won the judges award in the competition. The focus of the robotics program is working with Legos, and this year, that team of three was able to participate in the tournament and had the support of the Springside Chestnut Hill School high school students. This is the first time we've participated in the program, and it's great to see the development of programming in our school related to the STEAM activities. It used to be STEM, which was science, technology, engineering, and math, but it's now STEAM with the addition of the arts. There are other deaf schools that are doing similar work and projects, so it's a nice opportunity for us to have competition with other deaf schools, including the New York School for the Deaf. They reached out to find out if there's some opportunity for partnership or competition, and of course, we're always eager for those sorts of opportunities. It's great to have good, healthy academic competition for our students. I also wanted to mention our boys and girls basketball teams will be going to WPSD this weekend. They'll be participating in the Mid-American Classic Tournament. There's 
several other events happening as part of Homecoming, and so this tournament will be part of that. I'm eager to see who wins. There are always events this time of year, and we continue to participate and support our community organizations, including PCBDA. The Philadelphia chapter of Black Deaf Advocates had their holiday event, and I was able to go to that. DHCC will have their holiday event soon. There's also the Burks Deaf and Hard of Hearing Services Organization, as well as the Deaf and Hard of Hearing Senior Citizens Society of Delaware Valley. So there's lots of events this time of year, and I'm always excited to be participating and meeting with people and keeping those relationships going. I want to thank the people that have already been giving this year in part of our annual fund drive. We sent out the letters, and I hope that everyone's received them, but it's so important that we continue to receive donations and support to keep our school going in the many ways that we're running activities. For those of you that are already given, we want to thank you, and we look forward to continuing to receive those donations. We also participated for the first time this year in Giving Tuesday. It was our first year, so we didn't know how it would go, but we sent out information through Instagram and social media, and it was a successful event. We plan to make it an annual event by continuing that next year. Last but not least, I wanted to share two other updates with you. The first is that there will be a film screening of Hetty and Heidi, The Lost Sister. We're going to show the film here on campus on February 3rd. It'll be part of the Homecoming Day events, but this event will be separate and happen that evening. It's actually being put on by Bad Cats Entertainment, but you can see information through our social media and Facebook page for how to buy tickets through them. I also wanted to make sure on behalf of my wife and myself that I took this opportunity to wish you all a happy new year, a happy holiday season, and the best for the beginning of 2018. Take care.